Hey Maker, this is Claire from Eclair Makery and today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet my Pizza My Heart towel. This is a really cute crochet towel pattern inspired by one of my all-time favorite puns, You Have a Pizza My Heart. It features an intarsia crochet pizza heart on it and I also have some embroidered letters on this pattern as well. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to do color work, how to do the embroidery on this pattern, as well as how to use the charts that are available in the PDF version of this pattern. You can find the free version of this pattern available on my blog at the link in the description box below, and if you'd like to have a printable version of this pattern that includes two different charts you can use to make this that I'll refer to in this video, you can get that for just $3 uh, in my Etsy and Ravelry stores at the description box below. Uh, just click on those two links and you can grab that. And so once you get that, then make sure go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And we'll go ahead and get started. To make this crochet towel, we are going to need a few different things. You will need a worsted weight cotton yarn. I am using We Crochet's Dishy Yarn, which is one of my favorite cotton yarns to use for home decor. It's a really soft cotton yarn that isn't too thick, um, which is one thing I really like compared to uh, Lily's Sugar and Cotton or a really thick worsted weight cotton yarn. Um, so if you want to get this, you can find it at the link in the description box below. And then you will also need a size G 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now when it comes to the yarn colors, we're going to use a couple different ones for this project. We're going to use red, brown and then a yellow color. So you can of course do whatever colors you want for your pizza, but these are the colors I've chosen for my towel. So once you get your supplies together, then we can go ahead and get started on making this pattern. To begin making the towel, you are going to start by chaining 58 chain stitches. This is the base of the bottom of the towel and is what we will be building the rest of the pattern off of. Once you have those 58 chain stitches done, then we are going to start crocheting along the chains. So we will begin by going to the third chain from the hook since we're doing half double crochets for this pattern. And then we will half double crochet all the way down this row of chain stitches. Then once you have finished doing all of these chain stitches, you will have one row of half double crochet and then you will do seven more rows of half double crochet in this red color or whatever color you have chosen for the base of your towel. On the last yarn over of the last stitch of our eighth row in the red, we are going to take our yellow yarn here and we are going to switch colors. So you'll take the yarn, you'll hook it with your hook and pull it through and then pull your red yarn to tighten that and then you'll have officially switched over to the yellow yarn, which is the main color that we will be using for the body of the towel. Now you can fasten off your red yarn here. We won't need it until we start doing the, uh, we won't need it until we start doing the pepperonis on the pizza. Um, so what I do sometimes is I will hold my yarn and I will um, crochet around it and carry it for a few stitches as I do that first row with the new color. That way this just helps me not have to weave it in later and then it's a little bit more secure. But you can of course just do the normal weave-in way um, as you do this. And then we will continue um, crocheting the, in the yellow for 10 more rows before we start working on our pizza. So now that I have my yellow rows and my red rows all done, we are at the point where we will start working on the chart. Now, if you have the PDF pattern, it includes a chart that has all of the color work as well as the embroidery done for this pattern all on it. Um, there's two different options. You can have the one that just has the pizza by itself so that it doesn't look all cluttered, or you can have it where it has everything all in one chart. I've got that right here. And you'll see here we've got 11 stitches before we get to this brown. Well, actually, it's 12 stitches before we get to the brown section. So I've gone ahead and I've done 11 stitches so I can show you how 
we will change colors. So on the 12th stitch, before you switch to the brown, we are going to take our brown yarn and on this last yarn over, just like we did when we switched from the yellow to the, or the red to the yellow, we are gonna take our brown yarn and switch colors like that. Except this time, we are going to be using this yellow yarn later and not just fastening it off. What we're gonna do, so you'll look here on the chart here, you'll see there's three brown stitches. So that means we are gonna do three brown stitches. <laughs> um, and we're gonna do a little bit of a hybrid of tapestry and intarsia crochet. So we are going to do the three brown stitches and you will carry your yellow yarn as you do that. So what that means is that as you do the stitches, you have this yellow yarn held at the top of your row and then you just crochet around that to bring it to the side that you need over here and then you will switch back to the yellow once you are done with those brown stitches. Then what you'll do is you'll just crochet all the way across to the end of our row um, and then we will go on to the next row of the color work chart. So you'll remember each square represents one stitch. So on this next row, we will be starting the brown on this stitch instead of just doing the three. And you don't have to use the chart for the rest of this super long row. So go ahead and crochet up to this point on this other side, and then I'll show you how to, how we'll kind of do the colors for the next row with the color work. So I've gone ahead and crocheted up to this point where we are going to be switching colors to do the second row of the color work for the pizza. So we're going to switch colors on this last yarn over of this stitch before we need that brown. And just remember that when you are doing this, you are going to be doing a brown stitch sooner than what you did in the last row. So you're going to be doing it in this stitch that's next to this brown one instead of just stacking the brown ones on top of each other. So then once you do that, we're gonna remember to carry our yarn. So we'll do two brown stitches. So just always refer to the chart when you're in doubt of how many stitches you need to do or just look at the written pattern because both will tell you what you need to do. And then you'll take that yarn that you've been carrying and we will switch colors. And then we have one yellow stitch in the middle here. Then you are going to switch right away to the brown. So you don't do a full stitch with the yellow. You will finish that yellow stitch with your brown yarn and pull that closed. And then we do our two brown stitches, remembering to carry that yellow yarn. And then we switch to the brown or the yellow to finish off this row and just crochet to the end. So your towel on the front will look like this. It will have the brown stitches starting to move outward to get that shape of the heart and then the yellow stitch in the middle. So what you'll do is continue doing one more row of just doing the yellow and the brown and then I will show you how we will do the row with the bobbles once you crochet up to where we need to do this row with the where we start to add in the red. So I've made it to the row where we are going to start adding the pepperonis to our pizza. So our pepperonis on our pizza, they are made of bobbles. And so we will be adding those to our normal slate of colors that we've been working with. So I will do my two brown stitches like depicted on the chart and then I will switch to the yellow to do one stitch before I add in the red. So once I do this yellow stitch, I'm going to grab my red yarn to finish off that stitch by switching the colors. <laughs> Let me just grab that. There we go. And then we're going to do a bobble stitch. So the bobble stitch, if you've never done it before, it's essentially a double crochet that you um, do more loops on. So how you'll start it is you'll take your red yarn, you'll yarn over, then you'll insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two loops. And then we'll repeat that. So you just go into the stitch, pulling up another loop to add to 
our bobble until we have five loops on our hook here. Now, if you want to have a bobble that has less uh, loops on it and so it's smaller, you can just do four, um, but I'm doing five for this one because I like when the bobbles really stand out. Then we are going to switch back to our yellow yarn and then we will carry the brown and the red yarn in this next stitch here. And then, so we have that half double crochet. Then we're going to switch to the red again because we have a second pepperoni in this row. And then we're gonna do that bobble stitch. Grab our yellow yarn like so, do one stitch there, and then get our brown yarn, do two stitches with the brown yarn, and then switch back to the yellow to finish off our row. So when you flip your towel around, you'll see we've got this fun little start of our pizza here. We've got the two baubles, we've got the edges of the crust and the cheese in the middle, and then we will continue creating this pizza from our chart. So what you'll do is you are going to alternate rows that have baubles and then rows that just have the normal half double crochet until you finish the chart completely and then I will show you how we will continue crocheting the towel to finish it up before we add the embroidery. Once you finish the color work portion of your pizza, then you are going to finish off your towel by crocheting 13 rows of the main color of your towel. This is going to be what we'll do the top portion of the embroidery work on. So you'll just fasten off all the colors you used right here on the pizza portion, and then you will just finish off your towel by crocheting those 13 rows of the main color. Once you do that, you'll want to grab a towel tapestry needle and then use your dark brown that you used for the pizza crust and this is what we are going to do our embroidery with. So you'll thread your needle and then make sure you have a knot at the very end. Grab your chart here if you are using the PDF pattern, otherwise you can just refer to the photo on the free version. And then we are going to start doing the embroidery on here. So you'll see, I'll zoom in on this. So you can see that and the we're going to start with the Y here. This is what I'll show you how to do the embroidery with. So we'll look here on our chart and it's 17 stitches across. Then we'll grab our towel here. We're going to go three rows down and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Go over to that, take your needle. And then we're going to come up on the edge of our stitch here, pull that needle through, and then we can start doing the embroidery. So we're going to go down to this stitch right here. We're going to go down two stitches because that's what the chart shows right here. We're going to go down two stitches. Whoops. <laughs> so go down two on the bottom there. And then you just pull that through and then we're going to come up Oops. then you're going to come up on this other stitch right here so pull your needle up like so and then you're going to insert your needle back into that bottom of this other stitch right here and pull that through. Then to finish off the Y, we're going to come down to the bottom of this stitch right here, pull our needle up, and then go down right there. Now you can totally freehand this if you want. If you don't want to use the chart, the chart is just a reference that you can use. Um, and then once you have each letter done, then you can move on to the next one. Um, until you finish all of the uh, stitches in the words. And that's basically just how you do the embroidery for this. You just move your needle 
do these stitches. I like to use a back stitch to do this um, just because it creates a nice um, uniform look and you just insert it and it's super, super nice and simple. And that's basically how you do the embroidery. So go ahead and do all of the stitches that you need to do to finish this word and these words on your towel and then you will be all done with it. Well, I hope that you love your brand new towel that's all nice and finished. Once you have all of the words embroidered on there, then you are all finished with your towel. I'm so excited that I get to share this pattern with you and I hope that you love it as much as I do and use it in your kitchen many, many times. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming video tutorials. I can't wait to share with you all of the fun upcoming patterns I have planned and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time!